Hey guys, Jonathan here, and today I've got the August 2024 Avengers vs. the Leviathan set. This was actually put out at a Target near my house way before release, and I was able to buy it there. In fact, I've even got the receipt for it right here, and pretty crazy. So yeah, let's go ahead and get it opened up and take a look at it. All right, so we've got our pull tabs on the side here. Oh, this one opened nice and easy. Some of these didn't. And then we've got Hulk's body just floating around in there. That's crazy. And we've got our plastic bag. So let's get to work. This set will retail for 50 bucks with only 347 pieces, but five minifigs. Now, a lot of these minifigs are repeats from other recent LEGO Marvel sets, and we'll talk about that as we go, but I'm very conflicted on this set because when I first saw it, I felt like it was totally skippable because the minifigs are all repeats, and the Leviathan already came in the Avengers Tower, so if you happen to have Avengers Tower, there's really nothing crucial to get in this set. That being said, after building it, I realized how awesome it is that if you don't have Avengers Tower, you could get three of the founding Avengers, Loki with the brand new green cape, a Chitauri, we all have some of those, and the Leviathan for only 50 bucks. So it's this weird thing where if you don't have Avengers Tower and have no plans on getting the tower, this actually is a pretty good set and a pretty decent value, but if you already have Avengers Tower, well then this set retreads a lot of water, so uh, I'm so conflicted. It just depends. But the other thing, I do want to say right off the bat, I have the Avengers Tower Leviathan right here. He just fell apart in my hand, though, so I guess we'll look at him in a minute. <laughs> but let's start with the minifigs, and then we'll do the comparison of the Leviathans at the end. All right, now for our minifigs. We'll actually take a look at these two at a time because, well, we've already got them in other sets. The new Loki, though, does have a green cape. This is the cape that debuts on Batman in black and Thor in red. And, of course, it's exclusive to this set in green. If you've not seen it yet, you actually can remove and put on the cape without removing the minifig's head because it kind of sits on the shoulders between the heads. So that is pretty unique. Loki does have the gold headpiece here and does not come with an alternate hairpiece. And when we flip it around, though, you can see that he's got the muzzle on his mouth, just like we got in the Avengers Quinjet in 2023 and the Avengers Tower. He's got great torso and leg printing, just like we know from before, and the Scepter. And, of course, the Chitauri is literally the same that we've been getting for quite some time now, so unfortunately nothing too new there. I also forgot to mention Loki has a Minecraft head for the Tesseract. Captain America and Black Widow fall into the same camp. The only plus for Black Widow is she does have the printed legs from Avengers Tower, uh, not what she had in the Quinjet from 2023. So uh, that is nice. I guess it kind of makes it semi-elusive. I don't want to say exclusive, but Cap is the same, of course. You've got the double-sided head. Uh, you've got kind of gritted teeth on one side. Black Widow, very much the same way. Same head we've been getting for Widow for years. Then we can flip that around and see the more collected smirks on the other side. And Black Widow has a giant stud shooter gun. I understand why for play, because, you know, it is cool to have a stud shooter in a minifig's hand, but these guns just feel way oversized uh, to be too realistic. But then again, we are talking about tiny plastic people, so what has to be realistic? <laughs> the cap shield is the modern version, of course. No printing on the legs, because, well, LEGO never does that. <laughs> and that's it for these two. And now that brings us to the Hulk, who's our only true exclusive minifigure in this set, but even then, that's kind of arguable. The body itself is from the Avengers Tower with the ripped up kind of like light bluish gray legs. And then the head, which if you've not seen yet, the Hulk's head is now removable. In fact, as funny as it is, you can actually put a minifigure head on there just in case you've never seen it before. And Hulk's head also fits on a minifigure body. So there's some nightmare fuel for you. But as you can see, the Hulk head is removable now, as is the hair. But here's the thing. Like I was saying, the Avengers Tower body is used here for the Hulk. But this angry face with the mouth open is also used in the Age of Ultron set that comes out in August of 2024. So technically, if you have the tower and that, you could switch the head out and make this figure. So it's never been offered with these pieces in the same set before, but technically there are no exclusive pieces. As you can see, we've got some studs on the back there, and he does not have the slotted toes. Lego's been kind of inconsistent with that for big figs for quite some time now, but it seems like they're kind of sticking to not giving them toes at this point. All right, so now that brings us to the Leviathan itself. Now, something I really like are these clear bricks that it's built on to kind of show that it's floating. And then, of course, it's bendy at the sides here, but not bendy up and down. You know, if you remember in the 
the movie, it kind of like space worms through the sky. But because there are two ball joints here, you can actually only turn the tail from side to side, but not up and down. So you can turn it like that, but you can't like make him do the worm without pieces coming out like that ball hinge that you see there. Beyond that, it actually is a pretty different build from the Avengers Tower version, which I promise we'll take a look and compare them here in just a second. But you can see that all the fins have these ball joints that kind of let them be poseable. The back tail spins and then the head crazy enough, actually can't support its own weight, so the head is always going to fall down, but if you open the mouth up, then it can stay open wide, so it is kind of interesting. Mouth closed, can't support its weight. Mouth open, it can, so definitely interesting. A lot of really nice pearl gold elements in here, and then of course purple stud shooters, and technically there is room that you could put a minifig on top, like Loki riding a leviathan, although that technically doesn't happen, but it is nice that they put some studs up there that you could, or of course Hulk on top. Now, with looking at Hulk on top, we do know that this is not scale accurate because like Hulk literally like breaks out of one in the movie, but it is still pretty cool. And I mean, Iron Man flies into one and like, yeah, so it's definitely not screen accurate in terms of scale, but that would have to be like UCS and $300 or heck, probably even more than that, honestly. All right, so now that brings us to the comparison. Right off the bat, you could see that the new one hovers a lot closer to the ground, whereas the Avengers Tower one really gets uh, sky high with that cool uh, translucent. There's two translucent poles there. Now, the Avengers Tower one actually can support the weight of the head, so you could open the mouth even wider, whereas, remember, with this one, it just kind of, like has to be open to support it. You guys remember that. It was five seconds ago. Beyond that, a lot of the builds are pretty similar when you look at the fins, but they are definitely their own independent thing too. So I do think it's cool that Lego gave us two variations because like these are biological creatures in the movie, right? So it would make sense that they wouldn't be exactly the same, but I do think that that's nice. Lego didn't cop out and make the tower worth less by giving us the same build over again, but at the same time, it is a little redundant, so I guess it's up to you how you feel on that, but I do think it's cool that we got something different across both. All right, guys. Well, let me know what you think about this set. I am kind of conflicted on it because of all the retreaded ground that it offers, but at the end of the day, I do like it a lot more than I thought just based off the box art. But again, let me know what you guys think. Check out my other August 2024 Marvel reviews here on the channel, and don't forget to like and subscribe down below.